Hi, I'm Bob Craigraff with the University of New Hampshire Center for Freshwater Biology. I'm the lab manager here. And we're in the process of running through a chlorophyll A extraction and analysis. And what we have at this point are some samples that have been processed. And what I'm showing you are two, two different stages of the processing. The sample on the left is a sample that's been centrifuged, which is the last step we went through. And you can see a pellet of debris that's accumulated on the bottom here that's, so it's separated effectively the chlorophyll pigment that is, that's extracted into the solution from the particulate matter. The sample on the right is a sample of what it looks like before it's gone through the centrifuge. So there's still cellular debris and particulate matter in general um, distributed throughout that sample. The main objective of, the, of running the sample in the centrifuge was to separate out that particulate matter. Our next step would be to use an instrument like this um, under my hand, a, a spec photometer, it fires a beam of light from one area into a receptor on the other end of the unit. I'll just open the chamber here. So it fires a beam of light from this end, here where I'm pointing, over to the other end, and it goes through a little chamber that has a solution in it, the solution being what we want to analyze. In this case, it's the chlorophyll pigment. So we've already poured a sample into this chamber. And what we will now do, and you can see again, it's a fairly green solution, so that's your chlorophyll pigment. I'm going to place it back in the chamber, and this thing is set up to measure um, absorption of light at certain wavelengths, wavelengths where chlorophyll A will be measured. And effectively with this unit, we just hit the measure uh, button on here, and it's going to record the absorption values at different wavelengths. And the key here is the higher the absorbance value, the more pigment there is in the solution. Um, and once we get these numbers, we plug these into a mathematical equation that's been designed to calculate out chlorophyll A content, and it will give us our, uh, our concentrations in the field. And the other key factor is knowing how much volume was filtered of, of water, lake water to obtain these, these filter desks. So these absorption values, as well as that volume filtered, as well as a couple other factors, are integrated into an equation, and that will give us our, our chlorophyll A content or greenness to the lake. And what we also have before us is a data sheet, a standard data sheet that we fill out each time we're running the samples. And this just gives you an example of the data that are recorded on the sheet at the, the end of the analytical procedure.